sketching circles. So you know how you have a circle function when x is squared and y is squared, and x squared and y squared have the same coefficients. So examples of circle will include x squared plus y squared equals 1, 3x squared plus 3y squared equals 27, x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 49, and x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 4y equals 44 are all examples of circles because they both have x squared, y squared, and the coefficients match up. So they, these both have coefficient of 1, these both have coefficient of 1, these both have coefficient of 3. x is squared, and when you square it, you've got x squared, y is squared, and your coefficients will both be 1 here. So these are all examples of circles. So if the coefficients were different, you'd actually get an ellipse, not a circle. So let's have a look at some really basic examples to start with. Let's just look at x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So this is the basic equation for a circle where this circle is centered at the origin with a radius of r. So this would be going through r, r minus r, and minus r. So if we have something like x squared plus y squared equals 16, this value is your r squared, so we just square root that to find out what r is. So r is going to be the square root of 16. Root 16 is 4, so we now know the radius of this circle is 4, and it's centered at the origin. So when we draw it out, it's going through 4, 4, minus 4, and minus 4. So we can have circles not centered at the origin, and they're going to look something like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where the radius is still r, so it's the square root of the constant on the right hand side and this time the center is not going to be the origin it's going to be at h k so think about h is going with x here that's going to be your x coordinate of the center and k goes with y and that's the y coordinate of the center the opposite sign so minus h and ends up being plus h minus k ends up being plus k so if you had a positive value in here you'd have a negative value here Let's look at an example of one of those. So what about x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 49? Let's write down the things we know. So we know the radius is going to be just root 49, which is 7. And the center is going to be at 1 minus 2. So looking at this value, taking the opposite sign, which is positive 1, and this value and taking the opposite sign, which is negative 2. So now we can go ahead and sketch this out. So 1, negative 2 might be about there. 1, negative 2, that's the center. And the radius of is 7, so we're going something like that, and you can show that the radius is equal to 7, just like that. The most difficult example of a circle is when it's centered not at the origin and everything's been expanded already. So let's have a look at x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 4y equals 4. So if we get this scenario, what we actually want to do is complete the square 
on the x terms and the y terms. So we're doing two complete the squares at the same time. So we're just going to write this out a little differently. Well, the same, but we're just going to leave a bit of space. So we're going to leave a bit of space to add in an x term plus y squared minus 4y plus a bit of space to add in a y term. And whatever we add for the x term, we need to add on this side. And whatever we add for the y term, we also need to add on this side. So to complete the square, we have to half the coefficient of x and square it. So halving the coefficient of minus 2 gives us minus 1. And we need to square it. I like writing it like this because it's going to help us later. And half of the coefficient of y is minus 2. And we need to square that and we need to add that to the other side so minus one squared is just one and minus two squared is four so on the other side you can write it like that there'll be no problem now we have everything we need to complete the square for this quadratic here so we can write that as x and whatever's inside the square is just what we fill in that's why i like to write it like that because now i know i need to write minus one squared plus y and everything inside the square is what we have to write in the bracket so now i know i need to write minus two squared and four plus one plus four gives us nine and you can see now it's in the right form where we've got x minus or plus a number or squared plus y minus plus or minus a number or squared equals the radius squared so now we can easily say that the radius is going to be root nine which is three and the center is going to be at 1, 2. And we can plot this out now. We'll sketch it out. So the center being at 1, 2. 1, 2. And a radius of 3. So we've got to be careful here because the radius is 3. And we've gone a distance of up 2. So when we draw our circle, we know it has to cross the x-axis below. Because if the radius was only 1, we wouldn't be crossing the x-axis. And we know we've got a radius of 3 for this one.